Well, here at the link, um, we're very interested in taking the kids that come out of the youth group age. So once they get out of high school and they're starting to settle in and find out what they want to do with their life, we're interested in helping them see that God has a plan for their life. So we got kids, they come from all over the place. They're coming, I'm actually amazed at where all these kids are coming from. Um, only a handful of them are even from this church. A lot of them are just from all over the place. And it's a wide variety of um, where they're from and what they even know. We have amazing praise and worship. Our, uh, our songs are very contemporary. We jump around a little bit. We're very um, passionate about what we do. We just have a good time worshiping God. And then we always have lessons every week. That um, My whole idea with Link is that we're trying to make a connection. So we got God up here and we got us down here on the earth. And what we're trying to do is help them to make a connection between what we're doing down here and God, because God's a personal God and he's interested in, in our lives. Uh, we also have the arcade room that we, we hang out in, um, activities, people play basketball and do stuff like that. So it's really, it's really great. People are making the connection with God. People are making a connection also with other um, people that are their age and of their interests. What's really neat about working with this age group um, from other age groups I've worked with is these kids are starting to see that there's a little more to life than what they just thought there was when they were in, the, in, the, uh, in their schooling years. Um, they see that life's maybe not so easy like they thought it was. Their parents made it look too easy. They're starting to see that they, they have some decisions to make in life. And um, what, a, what a better time to capture these kids than when they're in that time of making decisions and showing them that God's interested in helping them through all these stages of their life. So that's, that's what Link's all about, and we're excited about it. So anyways, the Link, just show up. It's cool. Well, we know that God gave us this building for growth and to reach people. But when we first came here, we both would probably be honest and say we were concerned about how empty it might look in here. Um, our very first service was um, packed, pretty much packed. And then the next week, we were pleasantly surprised. You know, with all the growth, I think people's needs are better met today than they ever were, you know, with visitation, with phone calls, with uh, any spiritual guidance they need. You know, those kind of elements. Uh, we're able to provide that, I think, at a higher level now than when we were smaller. Yeah. And you know that's God, because with the pastor's heart that we have, you know, our, our goal is to always make sure that people's needs are met. So it's very exciting. And I think one of the things I've noticed since we've been in this building, and I don't know that there's any explanation for it other than God, is that there's so much life here. It, you just yeah. feel it when yeah. you come in the building. And I would say three words about this church, and that it's life, love, and liberty. And that's what I feel there is here to be gleaned, that when people come into this church, right. whether they even know what they're experiencing, it, it's the life of God. And like I said, I don't take any credit for it. I don't know that anyone can take credit for it. If God is just so good, and there's something about when we entered this building and took residence up in it and started ministering to people in this building, it was like life just broke, broke loose into everything that we do. We see it in the children's ministries, uh, from little people, the, uh, the nursery part of little people, the preschool, the kid nation, uh, all the way up through AMP and LINK and everything we do here. It just seems like there's a life uh, that is it's filled with the life of God, of course, but an excitement. Uh, people are being reached. Uh, we're building people in, in a way that uh, I've always dreamed of. Not sure I knew how to do it, how to get there, but now we're doing it through the life groups. We have, oh, anywhere 40, 50 life groups running all the time. And really, the, the, one of the reasons for the life group ministry, which started way before we came to this building, but even then we saw a need for it, was that um, people could get involved with a smaller group of people, although the life group ministry could be any number of people. It doesn't have to be small. But if you get together with people that have a common interest, you're going to develop relationships. That's right. So just to come into church and sit in service week after week, you're not necessarily going to develop relationships. And that is a very important part of your Christian walk. And that is to interact with people, to be accountable to people, to really know people beyond just what you see, just, hi, I'm fine, you know, that sort right. of thing. Well, then you, you talk about the adult services here in the, in the sanctuary. Man, they are excited. It just seems more exciting than ever. Our worship, uh, the Word, I love preaching. You know, it's, it's something that, uh, you, you know, the interaction with people, even on that level, it, it's just been so good. We very much focus on wanting people to know who they are in Christ and to find out um, that God loves them. So one of the main focuses that we 
stress, I think, in everything we do on a Sunday morning service is that God is love and God loves you. And that God That's is right. good. You know, just the goodness of God. So I would say the personality of our Sunday morning service is just saturated with that message that God is good. We've had some unusual moves of the Spirit of God, and uh, some of them actually led by our link pastor. Yes. Mm, yes, uh -huh. Pastor Aaron. He actually had people up jumping and dancing and running around after worship one day. And, and it was real good because to see God move is just a wonderful, refreshing thing. Even if most of the people probably don't know what that's all about uh, because we have so many new people. But we pray for the sick at every service. Uh, and, and God confirms his word with signs following. We have a pastoral care team that is always available at the end of service for any need that anyone has, yeah. and they can come up for prayer. But we have people accepting the Lord every single Sunday, and it happens through all the different ministries that are going on here. But um, we've seen an increase in that since we've been here, and maybe that's Huge. the number of people. But I really believe that there's a salvation anointing on this church, and that if you bring people here that are unsaved, they are going to have to fight hard not <laughs> to respond right. to accept right. Jesus. I love church. And when we come on Sunday morning, I don't dread getting in my car. I don't dread getting up. I can't wait to get here to church because there's just such a wonderful atmosphere here. God is going to touch people. Right. He's going to speak to us. He's going to use us. And not just us, everybody in this place and is a minister. And she can't wait to hear the preacher. I just can't wait to hear the preacher. That's right. He's gotten better over time. When he started back in the first days, he used to preach, believe me, you will not believe this, but 90 minutes. That's we had right. to have a 90 minute mm -hmm. tape just to get his sermon on. There's no proof of that. Okay? There There's is no, proof of that. Oh, and is the fact is, is that he is a better preacher now than he used to be. So you might say that we endured in the old days, but hey. actually it was the word of God, so it was good. We're having a great time. Service at grace is great, and you ain't seen nothing yet. Amen. Amen.